In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create alternate surfaces using the Open Roads tools in Power Inroads. So I'm going to open up the Create Template dialog box here. And to illustrate this example, I'm just going to pick a very simple template to work with. So we'll just go into Components and Pavement, take a look at Asphalt. And we'll take a look at this pavement asphalt. So let's say that we did want to create an alternate surface for the this aggregate layer here. So the first thing you'll need to do is take a look at these points that are associated with the bottom of this aggregate layer. So I'll double click on that to edit the point. And you can see here that you have a blank for alternate surface. So what you're going to want to do is key in a name here and that will become the name of that alternate surface. So I'm just going to type in here aggregate bottom and I'll click apply and close. So I have set this point here to have the aggregate bottom as the alternate surface. And then I want to do the same thing for these two other points. So I'll double click on this one. Now that I've keyed it in once, it should be available in the drop down. So I'll select that in the drop down and click apply. Now I'll just use the target button here to go out and click this point. And I'll select aggregate bottom for that. And apply and close. And that's all that I need to do at this point in the template. So I'm going to go ahead and save those changes to my ITL file. And you can see I already have a corridor created out here. So what I want to do is just go in and change the template that's being used in this corridor to the one that we just edited. So to do that, I'll go into corridor objects. I'll locate the corridor. I'll make sure I have template drops selected here. And I'm going to go in and press the browse button. And I'm going to select asphalt, pavement, asphalt. Click OK and close. And you can see now that my corridor has updated. And now I have that template that has been applied along the length of the corridor. So now the next step is to create the alternate surfaces. And to do that, I will click in the terrain model and select the create alternate surface command. You can see I'm prompted to locate my corridor. And when I go down and locate my corridor, what will happen is the software will scan the template points for alternate surface. If an alternate surface is found, then the terrain model will be created. So I'll go down, I'll select the corridor. The progress bar, it was very fast along the bottom. That processed very quickly. But you can see here that the terrain model has been created. And if we go in and take a look at our civil data, you can see here that aggregate bottom has been created. You can right click and go into the properties. And from here you can change the display of the features. For example, you can turn on contours and turn off triangles. As well as change uh, many of the other properties associated with that terrain model. It's just like any other terrain model now. So that's it. It is very simple to create those alternate surfaces. The key is just to make sure that you have that alternate surface defined in the point properties for the template itself.